Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really adorable um, snowman centerpiece decor, whatever you want it to be, um, and it's using all products from the Dollar Tree. So um, if you want to see how I made this, then keep on watching. So for this project, you're going to need some red paint. I have the Apple Barrel Red or Hot Rod Red. Um, I have some black. I have Apple Barrel Antique White. I have Matte Mod Podge. I have some vessels to mix paint and put painted things on. Um, I also have a sponge or a foam paintbrush and some fine detail brushes, if I can figure out what way <laughs> that shows on the camera. Um, I have some of these ornaments from Dollar Tree. We're going to need this hat ornament from Dollar Tree. You will need this. Let's see what they're actually calling this. I call this a candle ring. Okay. What do they call this? This is a mini wreath from Dollar Tree, and these are really, really gorgeous. This is the first time ever seeing these out this year. You're going to need one of these candlesticks from Dollar Tree. You will need one of these large ornaments from Dollar Tree. I believe this is the largest size that they offer. Um, you're going to need one of these oranges from the Floral Garden. And then I just have some red sparkly ribbon from the Dollar Tree. If you don't want to use this kind of ribbon, you can use whatever ribbon you want. Um, you'll also need a hot glue gun and maybe a pair of wire cutters, depending. So the first thing we're going to want to do is paint our Christmas ball and our orange. So I've just taken some of the antique white and I've gone with antique white because um, the base of this is very, 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 very white and I don't want to have it all just stark white. So. I'm gonna okay so I've painted uh, three layers of white on this one and I blow dried it in the middle of each layer <clears throat> and then this one really only needed one layer but I went ahead and put two same thing blow dried it in between layers so this is good to Mod Podge right now there's nothing else that we need to do as far as painting on the base um, but the orange we still need to do some detail work on Now, I don't know why, for some reason, I forgot to tell you that you're going to need buttons from Dollar Tree. Also, um, you're going to need um, orange for his nose. I, I was so excited to do this. I think I was really just in a rush. And I also have one of these um, wooden ones from Dollar Tree. This one's really old. All I'm going to do is pinch it so it makes a, uh, so it makes a little... Uh, round circle here. All I'm going to do is take some of the red and smoosh it into that white that we still have sitting on our plate. And I'm going to try to make this a rosy cheek color. Okay, so I'm going to figure out what side I want to be I'm just going to take this as a circle, go into the pink, swirl it around, dab it off, and then try to make little pink cheeks. So there's our pink cheeks. You can go back over that with some of the, the white to make it less, uh, less dramatic. Yeah. So you got two little rosy cheeks. The color I'm looking for for his nose. And I'm going to go right in the middle here. Make 
a nice big nose. This does not have to be perfect because it is rustic. So there is his nose. And then I'm going to go in with the black. And we're going to make him have a little funky cute face. So all I'm going to do is do this. So we want him to have a little squiggly face. So I like the way that that looks. I think that's really cute. I'm going to swing it out a little bit over here. Okay. And then his eyes can make big circles, like medium sized circles. And then we can go back and put cute little detail into his eyes. Okie dokie. So everything is now painted and mod podged. Here's our little face. Um, I got a little too. Um, creative, shall I say, and I had to paint his whole face over again. <laughs> so, um, less is more, guys. <laughs> Try to push it. There we go. We're going to take this sky, and we're going to attach this to it. All I'm going to do is put hot glue right in this inner ring here because this actually sits perfectly on this. It's like they almost made it to go together. So I don't know if you can see, but it actually fits right in the groove of this little mini wreath. It's really strange. <laughs> Yeah, remove your little, there's like little nubs in here. Remove them. So that's not hindering you from pushing your ball down. That's still not going to work. All right. So I'm going <laughs> to, trial and error, I'm going to put um, hot glue around the edge of this mini wreath. And hopefully this will secure our ball down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so we are secure. Make sure he's straight. And now we're going to take our head. And it's just styrofoam, so you can just shove this right on. So you see if I do this, it shoves right on. There we go. So all I'm going to do is put hot glue on the nubby up here. And you don't have to be too precise about it. Just figure out what way you want the front to be. I think I want it like that. And I'm just going to press it right down on there. So the next thing we'll do is put his little scarf on. Um, I am going to decide against this. I got this so you guys could see that you can get something that will match this perfectly. Um, this is going to stay in my house and my decor is snowman and plaid. So this is just left over from, um, Joanne Fabrics last year. So I'm just going to put it on him like this. So all I'm going to do is run a little bit of hot glue around him on the back and get this secured on and we'll have it shorter on one side and long on the other. Let's just go through and press this down around his head and then I'll put a little dollop right there. I'm not really sure down. if this will come off or not and I only got one of these so I don't really want to risk there being a huge hole um, in the top of his hat. So we'll just go ahead and glue this on. These berries match this and they're nice and frosted. 
So I'll just take hot glue, a lot of it, and run it along the bottom. And then we will place it on his All right, so he is dry. So I'm just gonna start taking these, as you can see, and I'm just gonna put a little dollop of glue on it right where the little hole is for um, the ornament to hang and hide that down in the bush. And I'll take another one. So this just looks like he has little snowflakes around him. They're really cute. I need another glue gun. Or not a glue gun, but a glue stick. They're really cute. Very precious looking. So, he just looks like he's sitting in a little winter wonderland. I'm going to sneak one more on the other side. I'm not going to decorate the back because the back is not going to be visible. You can decorate the back if you want to. Sneak one right in there. So now he has three snowflakes around him. And last but not least, he's going to need some buttons. I have this package of buttons from Dollar Tree. They come in colors and just like neutral. Anyway, I'll just get one. And a little, little, little teeny dab of glue. I'll put it on him right under his scarf. So this is what we're looking at. Right under that scarf there. And then I'll do one more. We don't need three. Let's see. Oh, that one will work. There we go. And there we go. So there he is. He is finished. And he's so adorable. So I hope you guys, let's see, we'll try this project. Thanks for watching.